All right, so here's my plan. We can definitely limp it home just like this, but I'm gonna try to get underneath and take a look at the right head control valve because I think maybe because of how it was driven, it might have stressed out one of the valves. And if there's one key to uh, air suspension, never, ever, ever get underneath one of these things where you can get crushed if the airlines break. Because that, I at least know one person that's died from that, and it's more common than you think it could happen. So I'm gonna go position myself under the axles and just take a look real fast and show you guys what's going on. So you can definitely see that side's way up too high. Let me get underneath. So I'm underneath the axle. I don't know if you can see that. That's a tag axle. The suspension can't go lower than the axle because the axle is what's actually on the ground. So I can't get crushed at this point. The right height control valve, there's one of them. And let's see if we can see the other one. Oh, cool, I got a spider right there. Probably a bad spider. That one's pretty new. Um, I don't know why. Huh, some weird stuff going on there. And that one is pretty level. I mean, both these are actually level. That arm's pretty level. I don't know why it would be. All right. Let me uh, see if I can't adjust this. Because I know this one's going to be way out of line. Because it's way up too high. So you're supposed to just loosen these up. Yeah, it's got a lot of play on the top of that. So, now, right above there's going to be the solenoid valves that air leveling hooks into. There's two banks of them. One there and there. And so that interrupts the normal chassis ride height suspension right here. And it's really a simple valve. Uh, this is a fixed point on the chassis of the axle. So if the uh, body rolls that way and comes up, it will let air out of the airbags to keep this level because you want that arm to be level. And that's how it ke keeps it level. It adds air or it takes air out of the airbags. It's just a simple valve. The bad news is. I didn't bring any other tools, so I have to go get a screwdriver, of all things, just a flat tip screwdriver. You'd think I would have had one, but I didn't want to go through the hassle on the plane with tools. It's going to be an expensive tool set right here. I have my man Tim right here. He's going to stand back here and let me know if we're making it level or not when I'm underneath there. Yeah. Pretty simple job. Yeah, I'm my best. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I put stickers on Crooked all the time. <laughs> All right, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm positioned pretty well in between the tires and the, the frame. I haven't done anything! All right, so I shouldn't be able to crush myself, but I did kill that spider, so I didn't have to worry about it. So let me just loosen this up right here. Let's see if I can't extend this rod. All right, so I took it all loose. Well, it's definitely not responding, right? Hey, I should be losing air and it should be bleeding down, and it's not. And that should be adding air and it's not. <laughs> The things I've seen up there. There we go. All right, that was weird. That was a uh, zip tie kinking the exhaust port. It's weird. Very weird. If we go up with it, it needs to lower the airbags in order to make this uh, arm go level.
right, guys. Uncareful review. I think something else is wrong. I uh, don't know if you guys can see this. So I'm going to let air out, but I can't put air back in the airbags. And doing that wasn't letting, that wasn't affecting the airbags at all. Uh, so I'm concerned because this is a new valve that looks like maybe, is it possible it was plumbed wrong? All right, I think it may be starting to figure out what's going on over here. So the passenger side right hand control valve does seem to work. So I can add and remove air from the airbags using the valve up there. Just not fine. But what I found on this driver's side was that I really wasn't affecting the air in or out with this. I was just bleeding air out of the tank and I wasn't adding any air to the airbags. And since I know we could add air to the airbags using the controls, I'm going to assume that we're not getting air to the manifold, the right height control valve. Now before I left, I did print out a manual so I could know how everything was supposed to work. It's easier than using my phone. Alright, should be able to see this manifold right here. So you have two sets of uh, airbags, so you have a, a, usually a one set of airbags, like the passenger side there and driver's side right there. Then you have your travel um, solenoid valve right there. It's called a right height port. So when that one opens, it allows the air coming in to go right back out from the right height control valve to go right back to the airbag. So we just go from the right height control valve through that valve and out the port so that you have normal right height control operation. Now when you go into level mode, it would close that one off and force uh, supply from this from uh, another port to either go to that airbag or if you want to exhaust it it would exhaust out and just let air out of the airbag so I think we're not getting air through that port or that valve so I think that valve is going to be our problem so let me just go ahead and see if I can't take the line off right there and connect it up to the airbag disabling any sort of manual or automatic leveling on this but at least give us right height control valve that's my plan this is the uh, line coming from the right height control valve to the manifold. And then from that manifold, we have this T that likely goes to uh, the airbag. So I went ahead and drained out all the air out of the tanks. So I should be able to disconnect this. And then I should hopefully got my quarter inch push on the DOT connector. So I should be able to just disconnect it from the port down there and then connect the airline from that port, I think. But All right, so it turns out I didn't even need the connector because I could just disconnect this and go straight to the T's that go to the airbags. So, I don't know if you guys can see this. So this is air supply from the tank, straight to the right height control valve. It goes out of the control valve on this brown line right there. And that should go straight to the airbags now. So hopefully we should have right height control valve operation again because I think that solenoid valve is our problem. All right, I still didn't have any uh, airbag control using this, but when I disconnected that brown line, when I did lift up on it, it would pump air out, but it would also put air out of this, which should be exhaust port. And that's why somebody kinked that off. But the alarming part was that if you try to release air, it wasn't releasing air. That air that you're, it's releasing is coming out of the air tank. That's exhausting of putting the air in the system, but I don't know if you can see that. It's not doing the opposite. So I don't know. I don't know if this is just plumbed wrong. So I'm gonna just try to re-plumb this real fast and see. Otherwise, I think we need a new right height control valve, which is strange because this is brand new, but that's probably why somebody kinked that side off to keep the air from leaking out of the system. That's weird. I don't like that. I repositioned the supply line to every every port available on this uh, valve, and it doesn't seem to affect anything. So I think we either have the wrong valve because it doesn't look right, or uh, it's broken. So I'm gonna see if we can't find one because it's after seven right now in Arkansas. Or I'll have to put that custom uh, zip tie back on to kink that one line that we're not losing air out of the airbags, but that's why it was maxing out, because it couldn't exhaust any air. I think it's all starting to come together now. It's confusing, but 
It's how you work a problem, I guess. All right, everything's closed, so I'm gonna rig it. So I got our special zip tie back on there. Let me go ahead and secure these lines right, or these uh, adjustable bars, and then we'll air up. I think it'll just max out that side because we don't really have any true right height control. Because what'll happen is as it goes over a bump, it'll add air. It can't ever exhaust any air, and eventually it'll be maxed out. All right, I got a limp. I got everything put back together. All right, so I'm no longer bypassed on the manifold block there. Uh, that rod is hooked up and tightened up and then this one's also hooked up and tightened up So now theoretically we should be able to air up I won't be surprised if the driver's side rear gets too high and we'll try to bleed it off if that happens Everything's closed. We'll try to make our way to Oklahoma City. I'm sure something will be there. Oklahoma City's a Pretty well supplied area. It's not the best repair, but it'll get us down the road First thing we need to do is get some gas so it's a very weird situation for sure. I don't know how anybody would have troubleshot that without a, a new panel. So the panel was bad. I don't know why the panel went bad. Uh, the right height control valve that looks like it's just been replaced was also sabotaged. So hopefully when we get to where we're going, I don't know, might be good enough for the road trip back rather than trying to fix it on the road again and disabling ourselves. Yeah, I know it's crooked. I haven't decided if we're going to put a new valve in yet. It's driving okay. Seems better to try to do when it's back in the shop rather than on the road. It's definitely hard to know what to do. I think we just drive on through. It should make it okay. That way we're not uh, wasting more time on the road underneath there and break something else and get us stranded in Oklahoma or Texas or New Mexico. Let's get back to Arizona first. And I can't deny, I kind of wanted to do a road trip again. Don't tell anybody. It sure is pretty in Oklahoma. Make it to Basin. Okay. If not, there's a few gas stations up here. There's that one there and that one there. Wanna get some fuel? Then we won't have to worry about it. Yeah. Right here. 